It's a quickie. I don't know about you, but I get so many links that it's hard to keep track of them sometime. And, and the bookmarks in my Chrome, it, it, it's just a mess. So I've been looking for a very easy, clear way to be able to save links and categorize them. I found an app called Wakelet. It's actually, it's a site, but it also has an app on your phone. And I'm going to show you how to sign up for the site and how to use the app on your phone as well. It's really useful. So you go into Wakelet. And you sign up for it. I'm going to continue with Google. It's the fastest way to do it. Now you all know my birthday and can send me a birthday card. So I've just signed up. I'm an educator. In order to create a new collection, you click here. I'm going to create a new collection for digital notebooks because I want to learn about this. I've heard about it, but I've never used it before. And it's really cool because you can add a um, picture for your cover from Upsplash. And by adding a cover, it's really f easy afterwards to, um, to sort. So I have a link that I found earlier, and that's what I want to save here. So you click on the plus, you could either add a URL, you can add text, you can add a YouTube, Tweets, bookmarks, image, upload a PDF. You can add something from your Google Drive, OneDrive, or a video. So what I'm adding here is actually from YouTube. So I'm going to put the link from YouTube here. And that's what I want. And I add it. And there it is. I can make it public or unlisted so that I can share the link with other people um, and not the whole world, or I can have it private so that's only for me. Since, since this is not my main account, I'm just keeping it private now because I'm gonna be deleting this afterwards. So here we go, done. They do offer a free browser extension. You can try it, I did not like it because what it does, it makes your, instead of your landing page being Google, instead of your opening page being that, it makes it be Wakelet. I didn't like the layout, so I opted out of that. And instead, in order to make it accessible, I dragged it from here onto my toolbar. Anytime I find a new link that I wanna add, I just, let's say I'm looking for And let's say I like this link. So I copy this link, I highlight it, control C or copy. I open my new browser. I click on Wakelet, which I put here on my toolbar. And it's open. You go into the col collection I've already created and I edit it. And I add, this is a URL. I'm adding URL and there it is done I can share this with friends or colleagues I can change the visibility I can invite other people using the barcode or a copy code or the link this is my main account as you can see the reason why I am careful about starting a collection with a picture on the cover is because it makes it really easy to find the things that I'm looking for. And I've got all these collections, some are open to the public, some are private, and you can just add collections. You can create a new collection the way I showed you before. 
and I can also use my phone. So now I'm going to get off of here and go to my phone and then I'll show you how it gets uploaded to my main account. I just finished listening to a really interesting podcast that I want to grab and save. I click on share episode and I, I could just copy the link, but since I have Wakelet on my phone, I click on save to Wakelet. And I'm already into Wakelet. This is so convenient. I go to the, and I want to do this. This is about Google. I want to go to my Google Classroom and save it there. So now I've just saved this site on my Wakelet on my phone. I will go into Google Classroom and look for where it shows up. There we go. That's what I just saved and it's here. I'm telling you, it is so simple and so easy that even when I'm in the middle of my morning walk and I hear something that I want to save, I stop for a second, add it on my phone, and it's in my collection. I really recommend you try it, especially when you're taking a course like the one that you're going to be taking now. You're going to be getting so many links that you're going to want to save. This is a fabulous way to organize them. So I hope you enjoyed the course and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, this little quickie, and don't forget to subscribe over here.